keystrokes here with a review on the Velocity RDA. Alright, so this is my third RDA and it's my fucking favorite RDA. Top of the line, my favorite. It is the bomb and uh, it performs amazingly. It's amazing. I love this thing. Flavor's amazing. Clouds are amazing. Flavor chaser and cloud chaser. Um, I mean, I'm going to go through everything for you. I'm going to go down. I'm going to show you how I would clean it. All I do is use a Q-tip. And uh, I'm going to show you how I put it together. All the parts, all that stuff. Um, I am using the wide bore drip tip. I do not like the adapter. I like the wide. I love it. But um, at the end of the video, I'll let you know what I think about it and um, give my final thoughts on it. And I would definitely, definitely suggest buying this RDA. It's flying. It's, it's, it's amazing. Love the thing. One of my favorite RDAs of all time. All right, so here is the uh, center post your bottom cap as well and I'll tell you what the threads on this thing are amazing they're really nice threads um, you have really nice post holes for big builds super big builds um, I use a uh, huge Clapton builds inside this thing you have your insulator and when I'm cleaning this thing all I do is use a q-tip just to get in there and clean it but um, you got your grub nuts which uh, I found stripped really easy um, you might have to get some different ones it does come with a couple extra you got your two o-rings and a non adjustable pin here's your inner barrel that's the part that's going to connect into your deck looks like a robot if you ask me another o-ring there are threads for your a drip tip accessories and in here if I can find it right there is a little notch as you can see that little notch is going to fit into your center post right here where the notch on your center post is that way you can evenly line it up when you're uh, Here's your top cap with your circular air holes. Your threads for screwing into the lower part of the barrel. You have your big drip tip. Mine's a little bit scored up because I got it stuck inside my upper top cap. And it also comes with a standard drip tip adapter. That it, for example, will fit a drip tip just like so. Personally, I don't use this, I like the big board out drip tip, and that's the way I roll it. So, what I got is my Smock X Pro M80. I am running it at 0.14 ohms at 80 watts. So, I got it all wicked up for you. So when you're putting this together, the thing is, is what I want to start with is the fact that on this piece right here, I have an issue with actually on this piece with getting my drip tip stuck in it. So what I do normally when I'm doing this is I'm going to get in here, I'm going to find my little notch as you see there, I'm going to line that notch up with that see how it's not sitting flush yet just kind of turn it until you hear it click what that's going to do is help you line up your air holes with your coil as you can see in there so what I'm going to do now is now I'm going to throw this piece on 
but up first I'm going to put my drip tip in. I'm going to go ahead and screw her in there. Now she's in. Because, like I said, this piece gets stuck on that. For some reason, I don't know why. It doesn't seem like other people have too much of an issue. But I've been having a severe issue with it. Go ahead and screw it all the way down. Alright, now it's completely flush. And I have no air ventilation at all right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this barrel up just a little bit. I like a little bit of airflow, so I'm going to open up all the way on my indirect airflow. I'm going to open it all the way up. And I'm just going to barely open my direct airflow open. Alright, so I'm going to bring you up here on FaceTime and I'm going to show you how she vapes. So that's how I do it. That's how I do everything. Um, I showed you guys how it works. All that stuff. Again, I'm running at 80 watts at 1.4 4 ohms. So super low sub ohm builds. Um, not super low. Not the lowest I've ever had. But on this X-Pro, the lowest I can go is 0.1. Um, yeah, I mean, I love this thing. I suggest getting one for yourself. And I'm just going to rip off here and show you guys everything, how it works and all that. The flavor on this thing and the cloud production, it's both best of both worlds. You don't have to sacrifice one for the other. That's the best part about it. I mean, this thing is amazing. I love it. It's uh, it's by far my favorite RDA. Definitely top five. Um, yeah, and the best part about it is the adjustable airflow. I can shut off the direct airflow to the coils all the way and open up the indirect airflow or what I can do is open up the direct airflow to the coils and indirect airflow making it amazing for cloud chasing it's all up to you about how you want to run it and what's best for you but um, if you like this video please subscribe I'm trying to make these videos so much short because all the other review videos are way too long if you ask me and I just want to show you real quick how I do it and um, I suggest getting yourself a Velocity RDA. They're not the cheapest RDA out there, but it's definitely worth the money, in my opinion. Worth all, every bit, every penny. And I love it. There's nothing better. I mean, there probably is something better, but right now, this is my favorite. I love this RDA. Um, Please subscribe below. And uh, the price on this thing, um, what I found it for, what I bought it for online was, uh, I believe I paid 95 for it. That's how much I paid for it. Um, you can find clones. I've tried to clone once before it, where it's just the same. It works just the same. You just don't get the fancy paperwork. But um, I suggest you go out and get yourself one. And I would definitely, if I lost it, I would definitely buy another one, for sure. So yes, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I could use the likes and the subscribers. Um, and then on my next video, for anybody who watched the last video about the hemp wicking, I should have links here soon. Um, I'm currently waiting for my shipment to come in on the hemp wicking. And uh, my buddy is still trying to get his page fixed up, so that way he can sell the hemp wicking as well. Um, but thank you for watching. This is Big Strauss. I want to appreciate everything, all the support everyone's given me so far. And please hit that subscribe button and help me out.